Yeah. So the part where you, where I think you're onto something is with trying to build a broader pro-choice coalition by bringing in racial minorities. So in, in the conference, there was a lot of talk about that. We have a problem. Our problem is we're almost entirely college educated white women yeah. in the pro-choice movement. And we need to get we need to get, build a broader coalition. And one of the ways we can do this, like they explicitly explain this as a strategy in their conference. One of the ways we do this is by getting involved in Black Lives Matter and any kind of racial justice issue and getting in there and, and convincing them that, that like reproductive justice is also important along with racial justice and get them into our movement. Huh. It's, inter, it, it's classic like intersectional strategy. Yeah. Like they had one state director from one state who had like some minimal success trying to get some, you know, Hispanic women involved with NARAL. And they sort of talked about that, but they didn't really have like this great grand strategy like bingo, we're Paul Ryrick on the pro-choice side and we're going to bring all these Hispanics in and we're going to take over America. Like that wasn't there. I think you're partially right about the whole racial issue. Like they need to broaden their coalition somehow. Yeah. And they see this as a way to do that. And so and they're grabbing onto the, uh, the movement to be fair. That is like maybe the most successful activism movement that we've seen in what? 30, 40 years. Long probably? time. My, my whole life. I'm 34. I've never seen anything like it. Like we have where I'm at in Sussex County, we're very conservative, very rural. Mm -hmm. We have, I've never really seen a pro, I'm sorry, I've never seen a progressive grassroots of any kind in my area. Yeah. But when Black Lives Matter came along, we had a local Black Lives Matter march in a nearby town. Like I've never seen that for a progressive issue before. Yeah. So hmm. they're, they are trying to latch on to something that's been pretty successful. Yeah.